and I run it Just like animal farm Justice mean inequity So who go say the truth? Who go say the truth? Christian can say silence Islamic leaders silence Kings and queens silence Traditional leaders silence So who go say the truth? We are the workers of Confuzi Call. Now by a young one in Obega. We are the workers of Confuzi Call. One has a young one in Obega. Who could say the truth? Who could say the truth? Oh, you need to know how to say what I say, so Now your friend, you know, you can't ask them Oh, you can't be over, you can't ask them, yeah So when you want to go, you can't be over, you can't Everybody was afraid And when you know, you can't go to the other night What's my boy, don't be one and a night But who go tell the truth? Nanai, I say amen. Nan so be a person they can want some because everybody is afraid. I am safe, Moaini. I who could draw for you, not darling, ma. And who go say the truth? Oh, be a drunk, consult, consult, so to grow your man, so to me be a cacobrafo. If we ain't in a yet, if we ain't in a yet, now so could let her down and so be dear back or why no cake. I feel it for the man who moved here for a free new cross on my move. I just have way more in it. I could control for you now, darling. And who go say the truth? Abba ya di bo te chino Ya di bi be bo nyan de bi Ta chi sa wo di o ma wo pi pi nu ma Wo di o ma ni ve sha na fra fo sa But who go tell the truth? Do you see? Silence Even journalists Silence Oh then who go say the truth? Right is right, wrong is wrong, no matter how you justify. You say you wanna get rid of corruption. Someone want to help you, now the person become your target. Jobless know they mean senseless, poverty know they mean useless. One day, then go resist. Christian can say silence, Islamic leaders silence, kings and queens silence, traditional leaders silence. So who could say the truth? We are 
Even Benye, thank you very much for drawing our attention. And uh, wherever you are, it's my pleasure to welcome you once again to my view show. And my sincere apologies on behalf of my producer for the late start of the program today. Without much ado, let me inform you that uh, wherever you are, once again, you are watching us live on my view show on today's Ghana News TV with me, Jerome, your host. And as usual, let me remind you that uh, we are also live on Switch by Satellite. Instagram, YouTube, all on Today's Ghana News TV. And you can equally follow us on Twitter and TikTok, as well as podcasts on Anchor FM. It is always a pleasure to welcome you on this beautiful evening on every Monday to share my views on certain issues pertaining to our lovely country and political activities, and equally take your views wherever you are, and that together with the, the guest for our evening. And this is once again a special focus on the UK airline chapter of the National Democratic Congress. So wherever you are, please stay tuned. When we come back, I would introduce our guest this evening and then we will launch into the show. Once again, you are most welcome. Waiting there before Africa. Just the old men holding on to power, leading the people to where the grave. Huh. Wicked criminal leaders. Uno huh. huh. See them a come, then come in like an angel. But they my thief, them no say they my thief. Mr. President, you come in like a savior. But you a thief, you no say you a thief. President, why are thieving so? Thief man, why are thief, thief so? The people they must suffer, but you don't care so. Thief man, why are thief, thief so? I see the people crying every day, yo. They want food, them can't find. I see the youth looking for a job, oh. Every way, them can't find. Mr. President, him just belly food, oh. Him and the family, they no suffer. Suffer, suffer, no poor man, they suffer. Suffer, suffer, rich man, though they suffer. Suffer, suffer, no poor man, they suffer. Suffer, suffer, rich man, they, they suffer. Lie, lie. See, they ma come, they come in like an angel. But they ma thief, them no say they ma thief. Mr. President, you come in like a savior. Why you a thief? You know say you a thief. Thief president, why a thief and so? Thief man, why a thief, thief so? The people they must suffer, but you don't care so. Thief man, why a thief, thief so? Mr. President, why you the lie so? Before election, you tell me you be angel. When you sick, you run go a London. When we sick, oh, we die for Colebo. Mr. President, why you wicked so? Tell me how you the sleep at night, oh. See them a come, they come in like an angel. But they my thief, them no say they my thief. Mr. President, you come in like a savior. But you a thief, you no say you a thief. See President, why a thief and so? Thief man, why a thief, thief so? The people they must suffer, but you don't care so. Thief man, why a thief, thief so? This is Mr. Traitor, Mr. President. Master of sleeping. Mr. This is Mr. Traitor, Mr. President. Master of sleeping. Wonderful, and welcome back to my view show. 
on today's Ghana News TV. It's my pleasure to welcome you once again. And this evening, we're still trying to dwell around the team of uh, Rallying for Victory 2024, uh, Ghana's hope and the role of the diaspora with the UK and Ireland chapter of the National Democratic Congress in view. It's my pleasure to welcome to you uh, this evening to uh, Kofi Ampoma, uh, who is an aspirant to the position of the deputy organizer of the chapter. But Kofi happens to be the deputy youth organizer currently, and uh, he will be on the show to express his views on how the diaspora could contribute to the success of Rallying for Victory 2024, Ghana's hope. Mr. Ampoma, you are most welcome to the show. Thank you very much, sir. And good evening to my viewers and listeners. Wonderful. I'm pretty sure um, a lot of people will want to settle down with you by knowing a bit about who is Kofi Ampoma and uh, what he stands for. So could you just take a few seconds to enlighten them so that their minds get stabled before we delve into our main topic? Sure. So um, good evening, comrades and uh, uh, fellow uh, uh, Akatamansonians. Uh, my name is Kofi Ampuma. Uh, I'm currently the uh, chapter deputy youth organizer and from the South London branch um, of the NDC. Um, I'm currently vouching to go for the, uh, or aspiring to go for the position of uh, deputy organizer for the chapter. Um, uh, reason is because the chapter has done so great in these years, but I know there's still more work to be done. And with the right people in place at the right time, we will be able to capture for power for the party come 2024. Oh, wonderful. Uh, but it's quite interesting. You are the deputy youth organizer currently. And uh, very That's often, correct. it's like uh, when you become a deputy, it's a starting point before you move to the substantive. What would be your motivation for switching straight from the deputy youth organizership position to that of the chapter deputy organizer? Thank you very much, Jerome. So um, what I intend to do is to try and build or help try and build a very formidable team um, of the organization uh, team or part of the uh, uh, chapter. Now we have a very formidable youth wing as well as the women's wing and the knowledge and the achievement that we've been able to uh, um, achieve at the youth wing, we want to try and replicate that at the organizational level. Um, my boss, Freddie Kotobo, has done uh, an enormous um, job with myself, as well as the uh, women's wing. Uh, we've done a lot of things and we've, we've achieved a lot together. Um, and we believe that if one of us is to go to the um, organizational team, it will actually help us develop and produce even more than we did in the past years. Wonderful. So um, in this sense, uh, how will you rate the current organizational uh, department of your chapter? I would say they've done a great job. Personally, I would say that because under their supervision, we've been able to achieve a lot as a youth wing. And I'm pretty sure the women's wing will agree with me as well that they've also been able to achieve a lot. But Jerome, you know there's always room for improvement. Um, so that is what we're trying to work on. There is, we've done great, but there's still more to be done. And with the right people in place, we will be able to do that. And especially we have in a year of election ahead of us. We need people who can actually do the work and be able to commit to it as well. Wonderful. Uh, usually, uh, I don't envy any uh, incumbent officer who is going for re-election or going for another position because uh, all the arsenals are directed at you. And just like uh, the situation you find yourself now, the UK Ireland chapter could not participate in the National Congress. Um, 
Well, well, what's your stake on that? What could have contributed to that? <laughs> so it's, I would say, is a collective, um, um, uh, I would say, downfall, because um, as executives, I think we could have done more to prevent this from happening, as well as Accra also helping um, uh, in the uh, role of where we are now. So it's, I wouldn't say um, the executives have failed completely, but yeah, that is what I mean by there is more to be done and we can do more. So now what do we expect uh, differently from uh, Kofi Ampoma as a youth, deputy youth organizer in the next office, should you come up as uh, the deputy organizer of the chapter? Great. So um, one of the things that I will help implement um, with uh, my uh, boss, um, obviously, I'm sure you know, there is also a competition there. So whoever, I've got a very, you know, great relationship with both of them. And I wish both of them good luck. Um, but yeah, so to be honest with you, it's it was all about preparation. And you don't wait to the last minute before you prepare. If you're going for a battle, you prepare years in advance. If you're going for an election, you prepare years in advance. So with the new organization, I will help for us to have our implement structures in place that will get us ready for every election. We wouldn't wait for a um, you know, few months before we start putting executives in place and all that. So um, those are some of the things that we will do and we will keep regular update with Accra. So Accra is very transparent and we are transparent with them in terms of what is happening over here and what is happening back home as well. Because I mean, if we don't let them know what we need, they wouldn't know what we need to be able to assist us to achieve what we want to achieve. So it's, it's all about organization and that is why we need the right people in the organization front. Wonderful. And you are the right person, I suppose. Definitely. Good. Um, if you look at it, the NDC in the diaspora, especially with reference to the UK Ireland chapter, of which you are a member, um, the MDC has chosen a theme of a rallying for victory 2024, Ghana's hope. And we want to find out, especially with you at the central stage, how does the diaspora contribute to the success of such a team? So um, in, in the uh, previous elections, we've had um, uh, some uh, constituencies being adopted by uh, some branches in the diaspora or some executives in the diaspora. Um, and we intend to do the same. One thing that we couldn't do last year, my boss and I, we, we tried to organize something like that, but unfortunately things didn't fall in place, which was to organize a flight to go to Accra with executives, with members here to help with the election. And we intend to do that um, for the 2024 election, that is going to happen. And we also do contribution to um, uh, sort of fundraising to help with the campaign in Ghana. So it's not just uh, uh, physical and time uh, uh, spent in Ghana, but also financially, we do contribute uh, quite immensely to uh, the party's campaign. And we continue to do so and even more. So in that sense, uh, the diaspora only contributes uh, financially, and now you want to add physical presence to it. Absolutely, absolutely. We do have, uh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. So we do have a lot of, obviously, a lot of impact in Ghana as well. So we have relatives living in Ghana. So, I mean, by word of mouth, friends, family members, we do contribute in that aspect as well. Wonderful. Um, yeah. So if we look at it from that angle, uh, those in Ghana equally contribute uh, uh, financially and physically. 
as well. And yet the NDC lost the election in 2020. What could have gone wrong? I think collectively, we, we, we know what the shortfalls were and what um, uh, uh, the answers are. So in 2024, we will make sure we have the key people in place and be extremely vigilant. And that is why one of the things we're going to do is to support the party with um, uh, uh, manpower, as in people going there as executives, as observers, as polling agents to help out. So, um, yeah. Now we want to take you, we'll take you a step out of this uh, arena and then we'll look sure. at it because uh, you're going down there as an organizer. The organizer is the engine of the, any, any, any setup. In the Absolutely. chapter, the organizer is the Absolutely. engine of it, you know. Apart yeah. from the chairman and the secretary who runs the day to day administration, the organizer yeah. is the next person. You have a very able and uh, efficient organization department, then you are sure that you always yeah. be on your feet. Absolutely. Now, if you go out there, we have floating voters. As for NDC members, uh, it's not a problem. When somebody says he's an NDC member, he's an NDC member. Yeah, uh, unless something happens, the person might uh, happens that a person wouldn't vote for NDC, that person will always vote for NDC. So there won't be any need for you to talk to an NDC person. But now we have the floating voters who make the difference. If we want sure. to look at it uh, from where you sit, uh, are there any statistical or economic indicators that could be used to tell the floating voter on the street that the NDC is the best option? Great, Jerome, that's a good question. Um, so um, I think we're all very previewed to what is happening in Ghana. Um, however, we cannot take that and say that we've got the election uh, um, in, in, in the bag. We still have to work. And some of the work we need to do is to have outreach programs over here in the UK. Um, I personally believe that 2024, we're going to have Ropa. Ropa will be introduced in the diaspora. So one of the key things that as organizers we're going to be doing is to set up a calendar for the year. So we have all the branch organizers um, uh, well updated, informed. So we go out on archery programs to canvas for votes and for new registration. That's the only way you can help build your party and increase your numbers as well as voters just like you said ndc members someone like myself personally no matter what you do you could say john mahama former president has done this and done that i'll still vote ndc regardless now the floating voters are the ones that we need uh, as well as uh, dejected N mpp uh, 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 um, supporters and voters we need to be able to convince them that we are the better option and the only option for Ghana. And I mean, I think record speaks for itself. Um, even though we've been in power more than the M NDC MPP, we've achieved more than the MPP for Ghanaians. And that is, uh, you can't even argue on that. And we continue to do more. <laughs> now uh, <laughs> we are in a very wonderful arena now the ndc okay. has been in power longest more than the mpp and you yes. have achieved more so we'll give the credit for that now uh, if we want to go back and say whatever the ndc has also done it has been a build up on the setup of the ND ndc i hope you will agree with that of course good now, in that sense, if somebody tells you that corruption that we have now, which is a canker in the country, was started by the NDC and the NDC could not contain it, that is why the MPP has inherited it and have increased it. Would you agree? You see, the honest truth is, <laughs> unfortunately, African politics is completely different to how the Western politics is run. That's rather unfortunate, but that is the, the hard truth. On the other hand, if you look at the uh, statistics, if you look at between NDC and MPP, which government or which party 
has narrowed down on corruption, it's definitely NDC and the evidence is there. So what so, are some of the evidence that you can tell us that the NDC has put in place to narrow down corruption as compared to the MPP? For, for instance, under uh, former President John Dramani Mahama, there was uh, a minister, uh, Abu Gapili, I'm not sure if you, he actually made sure that he was investigated and when he was found guilty, he prosecuted him. And that is a good example of a good leader. Now, when you come to our current president, uh, uh, President Anadu, not some of us, but some Ghanaians, I would, if I say some of us, then it will sound like NDC people, but some Ghanaians actually call him the clearing agent. In his eyes, nobody in his government does anything wrong. And we are, we are witnessing the, the immense level of corruption, um, friends and family uh, uh, business going on. And within the NDC government, uh, former president's brother was having genuine contract, but because he was related to him, a lot of you know, noise was being made by the MPP then, saying that uh, this is a corrupt government, his, his brother, his friends, his dad, his dad. And we've seen an uh, unprecedented level of that under Nanado. So <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure that explains it. Yeah, well, so somebody might look at it from a different angle, you know, of because uh, even though the, those contracts were given to the brother of the former president, mm -hmm. they went through the, the due process. Absolutely. The important thing about those contracts is that if those contracts were actually executed by him and he got paid for that job the money stays in ghana All right the issue of capital flight will not even be applied here that's correct but now they made a lot of noise they took it they've given it to a, a chinese company or whatever it is thank you very much at the end of the day the money is flown out of the country of course and then we're here struggling that uh, the city is jumping somewhere else and we cannot uh, have access to it sometimes we as a people we need to go beyond these personal issues of you course. know that if is the truth the, the whole of africa let's be very honest engineers and planners are one of the very best engineer uh, companies in the whole of africa find. yes but that tells you that uh, we are narrowing down our politics our our, our our sense of politics is uh, very narrow and drifting up and I do not think that uh, that can lead us to a developed country one of these days. Do you share the same opinion? I, say, I share the same sentiment. And in most cases, some of these foreign companies do not even pay tax or the right tax or even pay any tax at all. There are a lot of companies now being investigated for tax invasion. And do you know what I mean? Like, it's we need to put a stop to that. We need a government and a party that will come and curb that uh, sort of behavior. And that is why we need NDC back in power. You need NDC back in power. Okay. So just take a little break. Uh, there are some comments from our viewers. We would read them. Who knows? There might be some questions from there that you sure. will answer. And then uh, we'll take the last, the second portion of this interview. Thank you very sure. much. Thank you, too. Good. This is my view show on today's Ghana News TV, and we are very privileged to have no other person but Comrade Kofi Ampoma, who is a candidate for the position of Deputy Organizer for the UK and Ireland chapter of the National Democratic Congress. So wherever you are, as usual, your comments are most welcome, and we will take them right away and then share with others. Um, I'm pretty sure my producer will see where we're starting from uh okay daniel daniel Baminko. Baminko. oh okay See, daniel you say the coffee is on fire we are grateful that you are part of the show and uh oh i fair patricia good evening comrades we are very grateful that you're also part of the show na 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 tafremu all the way from tatali northern region greetings and we receive it and great shout outs to all sakina listeners please we are equally joining you and uh, we are very happy that with your support we are able to reach out to many more people on our show. Sakina listeners, we are grateful for you joining us. MTN, now Chief 
Malik Dramani Mahama is here. He says, good evening, thou and your guest. Mr. Ampoma is a committed and hardworking young man, and I can personally testify to that, and I wish him all the best. Mr. Ampoma, you already have a very good testimonial here. Kim is saying, more fire. We are grateful, Kim, that you are always on the show when the UK Ireland aspirants are there. I'm pretty sure you have a vote, so please, the, go the ball is in your court. Oh, Becky Stone, we are grateful that you are part of the show this evening. It says, good evening, Jerome. Auntie Becky, we are very grateful and good evening to you too. Kim is back again, confident and hardworking comrade Kofi and Poma. I hope that uh, all the members will buy into that compliment as well. Uh, Mama Grace says, good evening, comrades. Mama Grace, we are very grateful that you are part of the show. And greetings to you and all the people in Stuttgart. Emma the Heavens. Emma says, uh, this is for Comrade Kofi Ampoma. This is to wish you luck in the coming elections. You mentioned that the diaspora contribute financially to help with campaigns. It is said that people in the diaspora make these financial and other contributions and struggle to take positions such as you are vying to secure another term in order to gain recognition so as to secure appointment or position once the party comes to power. What is your stake on this matter? Mm -hmm. Emma, when she comes back, I'm sure he will provide an answer for you. Oh, Uncle Intiamwa is here. Intiamwa Kwesi. Good evening, comrades. Uncle Intiamwa, we're very grateful that you're part of the show and greetings to everybody in Dortmund. Uncle, oh, our able vice chair, Umar Dennis, is right here on the show. Good, very good evening to you, sir. Good evening, GS, and sorry I missed the beginning of the interview because I was on a Zoom meeting. But please, can you ask Comrade? Uh, I'm Pama to elaborate more on the issue of oh something is missing. Um, I hope my producer will check it up. Okay, Uncle Dennis, I'll look at it. I'll look at it. Uh, producer, I'll look at it, and then uh, we'll put it to uh, Mr. Ampoma when he comes back. Is that all we have? Okay. Yeah, uh, we still have some. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Patience. Oh, patience, patience, patience. I almost took your award away. Good evening, dog. Watching from Hamburg. Patience, we are very grateful you are part of the show. Oh, our Becky Stone is back on the show. And she says, we have worked together and I can testify that Kofi is a hardworking gentleman who puts not only finances, but his time and energy into party work. And whenever he is called on duty, he responds. All the best, Kofi Ampoma. Wow. That's great. A good testimony here for you, uh, Mr. Ampoma. So far, so good. I hope uh, Uncle uh, Uncle Dennis will rectify that. Want to uh, where you want Kofi Ampoma to throw more or to elaborate more on a, a particular issue. I'm sure uh, we ran short of that. So we would come back wherever you are. This is my view show on today's Ghana News TV, and we are having an interaction with no other person but. Uh, Kofi Ampoma, who is going for the position of uh, the deputy organizer of the UK and Ireland chapter. Uh, Uncle Tom is here. Uncle Tom, very good evening to you and greetings to the people of Villafield. Uncle Tom says, good evening, comrade. What is your take on a pastor with multiple identities stealing from the Akufado Cathedral project? I hope, I hope uh, he will provide his take on it. So we'll come back. Whilst we prepare to get more comments from our viewers, we will come back with Honorable uh, Kofi Ampoma, and then we will start with the question from um, Emma Davins. So, Ms. Ampoma, welcome back. And producer, you check, let's check and see if Ms. Ampoma is ready. So I will look at what uh, exactly Emma has just said. Emma says that uh, whatever takes place in the diaspora, the contribution financially, whatever, be it in kind or whatever it is, it is just meant for people to gain recognition so that when the party comes to power, they are given positions or appointments. We want to find out whether this is the real case and what is the stake 
or what does uh, Honorable Kofi Ampoma has to say about it? Because he did mention it in his submission. And uh, Uncle Tom is also saying that there is a pastor with multiple identities stealing their, from the Akufado government uh, cathedral project. That's very interesting. Uh, it is a shame. Seriously, it is a shame. But we do not blame people of that uh, of that uh, uh, let me say nature, because uh, we are in an era that everybody is doing something just to find food on his or her table, so that people can afford. Um, you cannot describe this as a person as a man of God, because a man of God with multiple who should who should be preaching the truth to the people now comes with multiple identities, multiple bank accounts, multiple accounts everywhere. It is a shame, but we will get we will get the 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 view of uh, our guest this evening. The producer, can we? Or oh, he has a technical challenge. Oh, as a superior, I knew that the pro uh, this program could have ended without your presence. We are very grateful that you have joined us. Well, we have your Odro in T. Nyoma. Uh, there is, I think there is an, uh, an, an, an emoji, but I cannot see it from here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Kites Lujimila. Lujimila says the pastor is a businessman. <laughs> let, let, let's remove the pastor from here and just make him a businessman. Well, but then uh, people say that uh, uh, in every organization, uh, there are bad nuts, and I'm pretty sure he could be one of them. But let's pray and hope. And we uh, must be thankful to Honorable uh, Ablakwa for the beautiful job that he's done by unearthing this evidence. And then let's see. Who knows? Honorable Kofi Ampoma said uh, the difference between NDC and MPP is that the MDC even had to jail um, a former uh, member of parliament, a CEO of, a, of an organization, and on the other side, the NDC rather, uh, the MPP rather, comes out with the chief executive officer being a clearing agent. Let's see. This is another test to see how best we can overcome the issue of bad governance or what have you. Uh, Brimpom says greetings from Warsaw, Poland. Uh, Chief Malik Ramani Mahama is back on the show. He says, membership drive is a prime duty of the organizer, having in mind the possibility of ROPA. Should he be elected, what are his plans towards that? Oh, I just pray that uh, we're able to get him back and uh, all these questions would be answered. Oh, Bashiru, Bashiru, Bashiru says, uh, Allah, we are proud, okay, we are proud of you people. Bashiru, most welcome back. I'm pretty sure you are you are back in the cold. You see, that's good. Welcome. We thank God for your safe arrival. Uh, yeah, Odro says, uh, good job, bro. Keep it up. I'm sure he will definitely do. So, Bash, Bash, most welcome back. That is a deputy youth organizer for the German chapter of NDC. We are proud that you are back safely and you participated fully in the National Congress. The producer, can we now have uh, Ms. Ampoma back on the show? Whilst I wait for that, uh, Kim is back again. I love this name, Kim. Uh, I almost gave you to uh, South Korea. He says, humble comrade Kofi Ampoma, very resourceful. Oh, uh, Comrade Oswachan is back. He said, well done today, Ghana News. We are very grateful. Now, um, okay. Uh, Comrade Umar Dennis is back. He said, please ask Comrade to elaborate more on our financial mess taking place in our country with impunity. Your expertise on finance matters is well known. Okay. You take on your take on how we can get out of this mess. Comrade Kofi Ampoma, you are on the you are on the bench right now. Woo. 
Victor Maxim, very grateful that you joined us. He says the Reverend is a four one nine. He should have been in. He should have been behind bars by now. Greetings from Accra. Woo. I, I hope Akufa, uh, uh, His Excellency Akufa Do is treating you well in Ghana. Take good care of yourself and uh, please. The snow is still waiting for you. You can't run away from it. <laughs> So the show is still my view on today's Ghana News TV, and we have an interaction with uh, Kofi Ampoma, who is going for the position of deputy organizer of the UK and Ireland chapter. So, oh, do we have some challenges? Okay, then maybe Mr. Producer, you can give us a musical interlude, and then uh, whilst we look at what is happening behind the scenes. Mampam <laughs> Also on tea, move a swarab. Mam pam, also on tea. Once upon a time, animal called mam pam. Any king where them go bring them, mam pam said that king know the force. I got was a king, mam pam said he know the force. Elephant come, mam pam, some better than you. The peaceful creature panda, mam pam said I want to know the force. Lion became a king, mam pam said I want be the worst ever. Monsoon area, mam pam now become a king. All the crawling animals. Everybody become minister. Ya turn ya color TV. Ya di be a so sort of black and white. Oh my equality. Oh my attitude upon some cry. Oh my new time is yo. Oh my swear, 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 swear. Oh so until ya. So there go be no dem. Welcome back, and um, we still struggle. I think uh, we have encountered. Okay, good. That coffee is back. Uh, we're running out of time, but there is one 
um, question, uh, or is it not a question, but then um, a reaction I want you to take up before we run down the time is past spent. And um, uh, this one comes from Emma De Heavens. Emma says that uh, this is for Comrade Kofi Ampoma. This is to wish you luck in the coming elections. You mentioned that the diaspora, the diaspora contribute financially to help with campaigns. It is said that people in the diaspora make these financial and other contributions and struggle to take positions, such as you are vying to secure another term in order to gain recognition, so as to secure appointment or position once the party comes to power. What is your take on this matter? Uh, I think all apologies. I think uh, Kofi Kofi system has a problem. We are very sorry about it, and then uh, we'll just have to bring the show to an end. And uh, hopefully, we will rearrange and then see if we have another opportunity. We'll take up these questions because there are very relevant questions that uh, he ought to have addressed. But unfortunately, we are running into these technical difficulties. So we are very grateful that you have joined us and uh, accept our apology for today. And uh, we have no choice but to bring it to an end. I'm very sorry. Okay, Kofi's, who says, uh, okay, producer says, your Kofi, your mic is off. Hey. Hello, Jerome. Yeah, I can get you right now. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, loud and clear. Okay, I think there's a delay. There's a delay in there, but I can hear you. Okay, then uh, maybe we just have to end it now and then uh, we can rearrange if the opportunity is there. Yeah. So very sorry <laughs> to our cherished viewers. Very sorry about these technical hitches, and uh, that has been the edition for today. A special focus on the UK and Ireland chapter, who are on their way to their chapter conference to elect their executives. And we had no other person but Kofi Ampoma, who is currently the deputy youth organizer of the chapter, and he is vying for the position of deputy organizer of the chapter. Sorry about the technical hitches. We hope that we can make time once again uh, with God permits and bring him back to come and answer these pertinent questions, especially that of Emma, uh, Uncle Umar Dennis, and then uh, Uncle Tom Nutako. We are very grateful that you made time with us this evening, and we're very sorry about the issues this evening. Whatever be the case, these are some of the situations that normally comes our way. Have a blessed evening till we meet again. Good night. Never <laughs> go